Hello everyone, Ryan here with Product Impressions. I've been using the Blackview Tab 8 for about a year and a half now, and it's still a reasonably good tablet. Um, it's good for web surfing, viewing videos on the internet, things like that. But uh, I have noticed when I'm typing on the on-screen keyboard for it a couple of times, it actually kind of slows down and stalls out. Uh, it misses things that you type. It just cannot even register the letters as fast as you can type them with your thumbs. So that's really not saying very much anymore. Uh, so after a year and a half with this, I decided that since uh, my initial opening and review of this tab 8 was one of my more viewed videos on the channel, I figured I would go ahead and try the Blackview tab 11. Uh, so I pre-ordered this once it was listed on their website. Uh, it's another fairly budget tablet. It's uh, got significantly better specs than the tab 8. I will see about putting together some manner of graphics to put on the screen to uh, show the comparison between the two since they are both still available. But uh, in any case, the tab 11 here should have 8 gigs of RAM and a faster processor. Those are the main concerns here. But as an added bonus, it also does have a larger and somewhat sharper screen and is supposed to actually play back videos from YouTube and Netflix at full HD resolution. That is being 1080p as opposed to 720. You're not getting 4K resolution because the screen is not 4K. But in any case, uh, let's go ahead and pop this open and see what we think in comparison between the Tab 11 and the Tab 8. So here we have the Tab 11 box. Not very much information on here other than I've uh, got model information and we see size of the battery, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and the screen resolution is 1200 by 2000. So all I've done is cut that a little bit to get the plastic started with coming off. It's good if you don't bump the camera. And looking in here, there we go. All right, I, I did request the one with a blue. Uh, that is a profoundly blue cover. Uh, so apparently whatever color you actually request, you are gonna get a shocking version of that color on the front. Uh, let's see, just looking at this, Initially, uh, packaging looks very similar to the Tab 8. Uh, it's a little bit different control-wise in that we've got the power button here, volume rocker, and headphone jack all on the same side, whereas on the previous one it was kind of off. The headphone jack was on a different side. Connector looks the same down here. I'm kind of curious if the uh, 11 is going to work with a keyboard for the 8 because that is the same kind of 5-pin connector. But uh, yeah, let's see if I can... Get this plastic off. When I did this initially on the Tab 8, I wound up actually separating the screen from the body. But, uh, yep, this one is actually coming off without doing that. So, okay. Um, things are definitely more squared off. You can see it's been sitting out in the cold for a bit. <laughs> this is actually quite cold to the touch right now, but overall it's a very nice uh, slightly sparkly blue finish. I, I really like that color. Uh, let's see, let me grab the tab 8 just for comparison purposes. Go ahead and pop that off. And this is, if anything, a little bit smaller, I think. Um, yeah, there we go. I've got it lined up on that edge, and you can see the Tab 8 is actually a bit bigger than the Tab 11, so always nice to see a slightly smaller uh, device, even though the, the screen is better. And if I can get the angle right on here, you can kind of see that the bezels are a little bit narrower on the Tab 11, so that kind of explains the better screen and smaller size. Okay. Uh, yeah, looking very nice. And otherwise, we've got the usual paperwork, how to use a tablet in case you don't already know. Uh, you can put a SIM card in it and use it as a phone if so inclined. We've got a USB adapter and chargers. It looks like they have provided me with one for Europe, even though I am in the US. So uh, worth noting, if you do, Order one of these, you're already going to need to have a charger. 
unless uh, mine may have just been a mistake, but I don't know. Clearly the shipping address is in the US. Anything else in here? No, there is not. All right, and the other thing that we got here is the uh, keyboard for it as well. I haven't really used the keyboard very much with the Tab 8, but uh, that was primarily because it makes it much larger and heavier, and it had a problem where when you would have the tablet in it and fold it back, it would actually just uh, keep... The, the keyboard would remain active. So if it's folded back, you can still type on it by tapping on the back of the tablet, which is definitely not what you want to see. Hopefully they have resolved to this, but uh, if they haven't, I guess I'm wasting my own money so that you don't have to. So this is just going to connect, and rather than fitting into a full case, it looks like it is just snapping into place there. So, all right. Um, yeah, pretty nice. We will get this thing charged up and set up and see how everything works. A little bit of information on using these tablets thus far. Over here we have the Tab 8 and here we have the Tab 11. Now I have both of these set to the screen brightnesses at 50% and you can see it is significantly brighter on the new Tab 11. The only difference uh, case-wise is it angles it a little bit backwards. I did run streaming video for about two hours with the uh, screen at about 50% brightness, and I noticed that the battery went down by about 22% on tab 8 uh, versus about 14% uh, on the tab 11. So it seems like you're probably going to be getting about 25% more battery life with the Tab 11 than you would with the Tab 8. And that is considering that the screen is brighter and the it, it has more, pe more pixels, so that takes more power to drive it. So all in all, it seems like you're probably going to be getting about 25% more battery life here than you would on the previous iteration, the Tab 8. Uh, that's probably going to come out to being all the video that you could potentially watch in a day, uh, but yeah, I have been using the tablet for at least a couple of days now and haven't needed to recharge it. So for my usage, it is uh, pretty darn good. Uh, audio wise, I think that they're basically the same. Here's a quick little bit of one of my other videos. Um, situation here, uh, it's been really nice. I can, you know, crank it up and down, stand. So that's with the tab eight, here's tab 11. Standing, sit, stand, desk, work at home situation here. It's been really nice. I can, you know, crank it up and down, stand. So you can see that the audio is basically the same. There might be a little bit of a different sound to it, but it's nothing. It's not actually going to affect your usage at all. And I would say that the volume that it can reach, these are both at max volume, and that's pretty respectable. If I were sitting outside in an area with a lot of background noise, maybe it would be a little harder to hear, but... I, I think that it's perfectly fine. The volume is just fine on each of these. The cases does have the 11 sitting backwards a little bit, but again, doesn't really matter. All right, I'm gonna keep testing these out and let you know what I find. Here we can see the keyboards are basically identical. There is absolutely no difference between these two. The only difference that you'll see is that on the new version, the tab 11 here, the way that the tablet connects to the keyboard, it's only supported by this strip at the bottom, whereas on the older version, it the whole tablet snapped into uh, what essentially is a, a separate case for it. I can go ahead and show you the difference in the back here. Here, this folds down and you can just see uh, the back of the tablet on the older one, the Tab 8. It's in a whole separate plastic case that you have to snap the entire tablet in and out of. I would also like to point out that despite being a slightly updated case, it still connects in the exact same way. So you have the same issue typing, uh, well, not an issue typing, but if you are going to have it connected to the keyboard, it's really only going to function as a laptop at that point because if you fold the keyboard to the back, it is still connected to the tablet and any key press that you make will be registered. So you are still restricted to just using it as a laptop if you are connected to the keyboard. All right, one last thing that I would like to look at comparing the Tab uh, 11 versus the Tab 8 
is just the build of the tablets themselves. So you can see on the tab eight, uh, if the light catches it right, everything is very rounded. Uh, that was kind of the standard for design at the time. It is seeming a little bit dated, and if you are trying to hold it in one hand, it's a little bit more difficult to hold just because of those rounded edges. Now, on the tab 11, they've switched to what you can see here is a very uh, squared off design, which is much more reminiscent of the current iPad models. So it has a much nicer uh, look and feel to it in that respect, I must say. I do like the blue color just on the tablet. Uh, on the cover, it's a, a little bit light, not very saturated, so not sure I'm a big fan of how it looks on the cover, but I'm still going to use the cover because if I carry this around, I don't want to mess up the screen. But in any case, you can see a uh, very nice modern design on here. The reason that I mentioned the cover, I did recently go on a trip and it was just in my bag for a little while. And hopefully you can see on here, we've got some uh, kind of grayish marks on here. I've tried to rub those off and I can't really do it. So that's one thing to uh, consider when you're getting this. There is a gray option. The gray option is not going to show wear anywhere near as quickly as these bright colors are. It's nice and happy to have the bright colors, but uh, the gray option is going to be a little bit more durable just from the appearance perspective. Uh, hopefully this has been of some help to you. Uh, comparing these models. If you have any questions, I do plan on keeping both of these on hand. So if you have any questions comparing them or just about the tab 11 in general, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to answer. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time.